What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mystics MMOs. I'm your host, Mystic Raven. All right, so I want to address a very serious problem for the healers out there, especially the Argonians, because there's a lot of Argonian healers of different classes. But one of the things I want to point out in the patch notes, and I suggest everybody goes and look at 7.02, because this will go live. And this is where this is going to be problematic, especially for endgame healers, because scaling affects, you know, the, the procs, uh, proc effects, and that includes monster sets like Sentinel. And when it comes to resource management, that's very detrimental for group uh, functionality. In order to meet this requirement, you're going to need 39 thousand and nine hundred max magica as a healer as a healer now i'm let's put it this way i'm currently on a high elf and mind you argonians get a only a thousand max stamina magica and what this is going to do is going to reduce sets like sentinel and symphony of blades that's really bad that's really really bad when it comes to resource management now currently i'm using the ritual and this is going to have to force me to use the mage so i'm going to go ahead and go get that right now and i'll show you where, where we're going to even be at in that point um uh, yeah, I could take this way, Sharon. Anyways, yeah, I haven't even locked a lot of this area. The the main problem, and like I said, the scaling, what they did to the scaling, I understand the damage, but on, on the resource management, it, it is very problematic, especially for Argonians. It's just, it, it, it needs to be, it, it's one of those things that have to be addressed. And unless they change Argonian passives, the Argonian tanks are going to be fine. Argonian tanks aren't isn't going to have the major issue that the healers are, but being the fact that I'm a high elf on this, I mean you're gonna you're gonna want to scale. And this is with inner light. Keep that in mind. But when I go into the passives, my max magicka is double, two thousand. Even when I get this, I'm going to have to make an alteration, and that's going to have to keep my arcane because currently I have arcane. I wanted to go with infused. But I'm, I'm not going to have the opportunity to do that. So when I was about to make the adjustments, I'm like, I can't even afford as a healer to drop Arcane. I can't. I literally can't even afford to do it. I, 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 I just can't. And that's a problem within itself. My Mage Blade easily has it, hands down. And I'm able to make that adjustment easily. But depending on the sets that you're going to utilize, which is a lot of utility sets, you don't get a lot of option for Max Magicka, especially when you're running a trial set. Because if you use trial sets, you lose a stat unless it's perfected. So if you're not running a perfected version of a set, you're essentially giving up a stat, you know, uh, like a spell damage or Max Magicka or recovery. And depending on the set, depending on the set, you might not even still acquire that. And for Argonians for scaling, it's even much more detrimental because even when we go into the CP, which I have allocated for this, uh, for the Templar, it's very, 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 very problematic. It is a serious issue. So we have 36. Now keep this in mind, what, I, what, what we're going to be seeing here. Currently... My combat prayer is at 8-6, which I'm really comfortable with, right? And to scale, right? I'm still not, I'm, I just hit, I just hit my mark. Okay, so I just hit it with the mage, right? I just finally hit it. And we lose a couple hundred on the healing, which isn't a detrimental, but think about this. 5% scaling and I have inner light, Right? Now with my back bar on my end utility, if it was to proc on back bar, I still wouldn't meet the requirement as a high elf. As a high elf. 
And that's with all our king jewelry. And that's the way you're going to have to go as a healer now. You're going to have to have... If you want to max scale, you're going to have to have a class or a race that has max scaling capability. Right? That's just the way it is. If you're going to get the more bang out of your buck for your... Um, your monster proc so this is a major concern for the healers what's happened to Argonian healers what's happening is they're not gonna meet that threshold they're not gonna meet it because the way the percentage scaling goes it's because currently even in the CP system what ended up happening I already did the math there's no way they meet it it, well, the set dependence is uh, a factor as well, but it, it, they're, they're, they fall short due to their passives um, because they're 1,000 less than the high elf and max statting. So even with max magicka and uh, this and inner light, you every, every, every healer except with a few, one being the nightblade healer, will be forced to go with the mage more than likely for scaling and one side's going to have to go inner light for your primary healing bar meaning you you, you want to spend less time on the utility bar than the healing the primary heal bar so that's just the way it goes there's no there's no two ways around it uh if you want that scale from the uh scent or the uh, symphony of blades there's just no way to do it I mean, I wish there was, but there's not. Because to get it up to the value, you need 39.9. And even there, we just barely hit it. Now, I, I could change foods. This is true. Like, if, if you're going to go Argonian, you could go with the max food. You can... And you barely hit it, but it, it, when it, in comparison to like, if I got blue food right now, which I don't think I have any on me. God dang it! The the point is going to be made that no matter how you cut it, your your all your jewelry is going to be arcane, all of it. You're going to go the Mage Mundus with the few exceptions of classes that scale max, uh, Magicka. Templar is probably one of the weakest to scale factor, right? Um, in, in comparison to some of the other healers. Um, te um, used to be able to do it as a Warden, but I think even Warden's now going to have problem due to the fact of the, the how you used to be able to scale um, the Polar Winds. Um, not polar winds, um, the ulti. It, just for barring it, you used to get a max pull. So that's how I used to be able to. And to take off a secondary utility for something like, uh, let's say, um, Crafty Afi Crafty Afi uh, Alfique. You could do that, that would scale you, but you would lose a, you know, a detrimental um, set. You'd use lose a detrimental set, like, you know, Worm, or let's say you're using... Um, um, Kyn, um, Kyren's Kiss or Kyren's Wind, a Wind. If you're using like any set like Wind, and you're and you're going to Spell Power Cure or whatever, you're you're going to, the, you can't necessarily typically fit in a Magicka set in Endgame. Now in four mans, that's easy. It's easy. It's easy to do it. Right? We just put a Max Magicka set on. That's not a problem. In Trial, that's a little more problematic. It's a lot more problematic. And I wanted to address this. I wanted to address this right out the gate. Because most um, most healers sit around 36. Most. You know, that's typically where most healers, you know, are pu they push their max magicka. Then they do what? They scale they scale their um, their recovery. Right? So typically if we go infuse, we go towards our recovery end. Right? Because we don't want to run out of resources. Uh, a higher end recovery is usually a better way to go for us, but this this is very concerning. I, I I don't feel comfortable at all with a lot of these factors, given the fact that my utility bar 
is still going to be slightly under if it were to proc. Not by much, but even at, at this end, we're still under by almost 2,000. That's that's a that's a that's a serious issue. This is a serious serious issue for proc maintenance. I haven't been keeping up with the PTS. Uh, this PTS changes, yeah. Well, for healers, it's it's a very very um, you know, for for getting our resources, our proc resources up, it's 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 a necessity, and um, that's what I usually cover is a lot of healers. Now I'm going to uh, allocate and redistribute um, every class healer um, to try to meet the requirements as much as possible. But if you're an Argonian, I want you to notif notice that you're probably going to end up having to go with a blue food. It's just the way it is. You know, um, You know. currently I have recovery, and we can do that. Let me make a switch here. But this was, this was something I was like, I've got to address this because this is a huge, huge issue. This is not even a little. This is a, the big one. Actually, I'll even do something better. Let's go ahead. I'll actually escape and we'll go into the PTS. So let me go ahead and we'll throw up the PTS up. I'll be black for a minute. Lights out for a second. Yeah, this is this is a, a very, very serious issue. And I was like, you know, um, Zinamax kind of put us in a, in a slight pickle when it comes to uh, scaling. Once again, I always say it's detri more detrimental than an asset. And for resource management, it's going to get toxic. It's going to get really toxic because now all those Argonian healers are facing down a, a pipe barrel of making racial switch. Potentially, depending on configuration. And I'm like, oh, fuck. So, yeah, I was I was not very, very, very uh, pleased that Zenimax decided to keep the scale factor in the way they did, especially with the mag and healers. Tanks and stamina, okay, fine, have at it. I don't give a shit. I really don't. I, I mean, I, I really, really don't in, in, in that way. Uh, we'll delete this one and we'll just, well... Yeah, I mean, we can keep him. That's a Brenton. Okay. This is a high elf. So we already addressed the high elf. So let's go ahead. Um, get him a race change. All right. We're going to end right there. I have to get any race, any alliance. All right, let me do this. We'll get the gear out and stuff. There's a lot. There's just a lot, and I'm just like, oh snap! There was just a lot, and I was like, this is this is nuts, man. This is crazy. That at the end of the day, we have to make an adjustment this big. They're going to have to be required, and and CP allocation is going to become very detrimental. You can do it. The problem of it is the scale factor is problematic because if they're going to push even higher statting, here's the issue. And this is why I'm going to say this. When it comes to scent, like scaling um, for resources, it's going to get toxic. It's going to get really fucking bad. And I don't like when things get really toxic. I hate that. I really, It, it really bothers me. When people want to be like, we're min-maxing, and if you're not this and that, and blah, 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 because resource management does matter. It does. I, I there's no, I, I do healing, right? I do healing. Let, let's, let's make sure. So healing in this game, um, unless it, it doesn't, but the way it reads on the PTS, it's supposed to scale from your max magica. We'll make sure. We'll absolutely make sure. But I was like, oh my God, we got to address this, man. Because if this is the case, this is going to be a fucking pain in the ass. This will be a serious pain. No two ways about it. 
All right. And it, it, for me, it's a concern because I come out with all the healing builds. And I'm like, fuck. Alright. Now let's just assume we're going to take out of perfection, out of the equation. Because the majority of your healers aren't going to have a perfected. Yes, perfected makes a difference. Why? Because we get the max magicka. I'm already aware of that, period. I know this. Right? We already know our fifth's usually another stat. Recovery, I've always said this, depending on the set. We already know perfect Aurums is a max magicka. I already know this. I already know this. Don't tell me about healing. Don't. Um, but let's take hypothetically say majority of your healers, probably the 60 to 70% of your healers, don't have perfected. They don't. You know, just a lot of them do not. And that to me is a serious, serious concern. Um, where is, okay, Vestments of Ulrum. And then I need Dungeon Set. Um, and not to say that you'd use Worm anymore either. There's options besides utilizing Worm. I'm just, you know, typically you have one healer running a Worm set or something. Even if you're, they're going to go with, you know, um, a powerful assault or something and do something crazy. Which you're not going to want to do now. You definitely don't want to utilize a powerful assault set on a healer. Unless it's a, a, a Warden healer. Because scale stamina. So... If you're not running a Stamina Warden healer and you put a powerful assault on a fucking mag healer, you're fucked. You're so fucking screwed. Because those values have to be either or Max Stam or Max Magicka. There's no two ways about it. So tr good luck trying to put a powerful assault on a fucking mag healer. Good fucking luck. That shit ain't gonna fly. If this is the case. And I'm like, holy shit. This is crazy. Okay. Um, light. Why do I keep doing this? Light dungeon sets. Okay. Worm, 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 worm. I will grab spell power cure anyways, but let's grab worm too. Investments of the worm. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, now... Light, divine, and you're gonna to want to go infused. So don't even talk about the. We're going on some divine. Shut the, shut the fuck up. Don't make me smack you. No matter, I, you know, we always go draw one staff on all rooms. And I'll get my whatever. You can use whatever staff you want. I prefer the one, but whatever. We're going to keep this static. We already know this. This is not new to us. If you're a healer, we know our whatever one set stays static. If you want to go Inferno, whatever, whatever, whatever have you. I don't care what you pick. I go Lightning. Alright. Well, that sucks. Um, I can take, take care of that, though. Um, it's fine. Alright. I hate that effect that I have to do all this just to check this out. Any race, any alliance. Should have been under upgrade. What the flip, yo? Please do not make me whatever. I'm gonna kick this game's butt. You know, they, they just wanna make shit hard, don't they? Utility, maybe it's under utility or not. I'm telling you, man. Fuck it. Anyways, 
We already know about the, the high elf. Let's just switch and I'll, and I'll make a new one. God dang it. I swear. <coughs> I swear to God. All right. This to me is a huge problem if it's worded correctly. And typically Bosner, a lot of people like Bosner healers for recovery. So. This could be very problematic. Damn Zoss. Damn you Zoss. But I was like, oh, ow, 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 ow. Was not happy. I was like, you know what? This is so problematic. Now, and now I've already abandoned the crit heal. I abandoned that. I heal way, way much more on majority, majority of classes on base. Some, now Nightblade healer needs crit. Sword healer needs crit. And Khajiit, and Khajiit, any Khajiit healer needs crit. You don't get away from it. Khajiit's a problem too because it doesn't even have a max stat associated in that essence. So, that's a problem. So, not only Argoni is potentially fucked, but fucking Khajiit? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, let's go Max Magica. Now, we're going to take a look at our passives. There it is. You know, right here. Max Magica, a thousand. Ook, 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 ook. All right, so let's go ahead and get that uh, bag space up there, shall we? All right. It won't change until I travel, so that's why I'm doing it right now. Okay, now we got to go to the lunch box. Make sure I'm always getting transmutation stones. But this is to me, this is a serious, serious problem. Alternate weapons. Um, Trial sets, dungeon sets. Assessment of the worm. Sent. I'm not gonna lie, I like the VAP weapon a lot, but on the Templar, I much prefer the, um, I, I, I like the VAP weapon a lot, but I'm just never gonna use it on a Templar. Um, why? Because I have the AOE one. Uh, so I actually do like the, uh, the Master Staff. I'll get it on normal just to anticipate, but if you want to get perfected, I, I, 
I, if you can get a team to get perfected, by all means, do it. Okay. You're going to go powered more than likely because you don't have an option. You'll still use the charge staff on the utility bar. So, I mean, that's I don't feel like that's going to change in majority of the applications. Once again, pick your pick your staff of choice. I'm going to stick with lightning. So, whatever. Now here's the biggest thing. Once again, it's all arcane. Right? So, our resto staff, our Alrum proc, our scent. We'll get that max magic glyph. I'm aware it's a health. But miss, stop. This is going to be most of what we're we're familiar with. This is the only thing I'm pointing out. Argonian, blah 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 blah. We get the back bar. We have the five piece. You know whatever. Now, on the primary bar, which is the healing bar, I've always gone with the inner light on a Templar. To me, you know, it's always been the bang for the for the boost. I've, I don't think I've ever not gone with with that. I don't run um, typical setups that I don't know who trashed healers since I've been gone, but somebody trashed the hell out of them. Doing some dumb shit. Alright. Now you could could you could put healing orbs in that slot i don't why because this has a faster tick so i'm always going with the rapid regen it has a bigger tick typically yes you get a synergy but it has the same gcd as your shards and usually if another healer is utilizing another utility i much rather have the rapid regen I do not use this ulti. Fuck that ulti. That ulti can go to hell in the hell in a handbasket. Now, once again, um, I do utilize my cleanse. This is up to you. Uh, you can do the harm or um, whatever. It, you know, to each their own on this. But it's usually on my back back bar end. Okay. Um, then I... Uh, have my radiant or minor magic seal to all. Now, do not use flipping Ellie Drain on a Templar. Most thing that pisses me off. You can use blockade if you want for a wider hitbox, but a wider application, but you know. Usually, whatever. Okay. And you're going to use the Luminous. Gives them more resources. That's another reason I don't use orbs. Whatever, whatever. And then, of course, I'm going to use what? What am I going to use? Uh, I don't have a choice here. I go with the purifying light. It offers a little bit of a heal, but oh my god, it's going to give minor sorcery. I swear to god. And because I want that restoration, this is another reason I do not use that ulti. Because I'll get a bigger restore focus just for slotting the barrier. And I usually go with um, the reviving and then my war horns on my primary bar. Okay, so that's typically my setup. Now, let me go into the 
um, champion points here. And we'll address this. Okay, the first thing we're going to know, we're going to stack Max Magicka because of that factor. All right, that's, that's a no-brainer pretty much. Okay. From this point on, you're still going to take... Um, all right. I love some of this new healing stuff. I want to. I'll, I'll get into this at another date when this goes live. But I, this, I think, this was definitely needed. I don't think a lot of it's going to be utilized. Um, but like this, the um, leaving overflow is kind of really cool. Um, Overhealing yourself um, grants them health, magicka, and stamina recovery. This is going to be a huge one. I'm not even going to lie to you. That one is going to be massive. Everything else is kind of like, eh, eh, whatever. Damage shield, whatever, whatever, you know. There's some good applications in here for some some, some things. But the biggest, two, the biggest one, that one is a, going to be a big one. I don't even know why I didn't want that. It just went by itself. You're still going to take precision, even if you're not going to focus on critical healing. Okay, so I'm not even going to lie to you. I could try to lie to you, but I'm not going to. All right. So, um, you can, the, the single uh, target healing, I whatever. I, I'm not partial to that. I, I go with it. a lot of healing over time because of the healing springs and stuff. That's, you know, a much more uh, focal point for me. And then what I like to do is um, increase all of my base healing. So I'm just, you know, it, it, everyone's slightly different. They are slightly different. I'm just kind of pointing this out. But, you know, you're going to be able to go back, back to max uh, health, right? So even if you go with blue food, which a lot of people are going to say, you know, you know, just go with blue food, of course. Of course, of course, of course. All right. We're gonna put that in there. So this way you can scale max health. Okay. So we're gonna take that out of the equation. Okay, everything else is kind of whatever. Now let's get into our foods. Uh consumables. Uh your enchantments. Tester's lunchbox. Okay, we're gonna need an armor. We can do weapon or whatever, but I... okay. Now, big thing here. Um, you're gonna want max magic and magicka recovery. Witch mother's potent brew is not going to give us that that boost, right? It's just not. It, it's it's going to be insufficient, to be honest with you. Ghastly eyeballs is probably going to be where it's at. Right, that's just the way it goes. There, I mean, Mr. Banana, you know, if you, but we're we're healers. There's just you know we're gonna want what recovery, Max Magica. There's just no two ways about it. Okay, so even by this application prior to Mundus, now prior to Mundus, we're only at thirty-seven. Prior to Mundus. Now, here's the thing. We have to go all arcane. There's not two ways about it. All right? No two ways. All right? But look. 125. Stamina. Now, now, I'm going to see what this does. It might only be the healing, and I hope that is it. And it's not the resources. And I was like, uh, you know what? This could be a problem if it's going to affect resources. To be honest with you, this is what I wanted to check out. Because I'm like, Argonians are fucked if this is the case. If this scales, if that resource management scales, and if it's not just the healing factor, and let's say it's the resources too, Argonians are going to get, it's going to get toxic. And I, but Zoss was was very didn't really say. They just said, "Oh, you know, for the for the sets." And it's like, okay, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Is this the healing factor or is it the resources? 
Because I'm like, Argonians are fucked, if that's the case. Okay, so once again, let's take the mage. Okay, that puts us over 40. No, it's only, it's it, it doesn't check, affect the resources. So we're good there. So I think in that essence, we're going to be fine with a lot of configurations. Unless it was something that had to do with any, any, anything like earth gore. Let me, let's go check that set out, which I don't think most healers run earth gore. I don't, I've, I've never seen earth gore is usually like four man. Oh shit. So, um, I was, I was worried. This was one thing I was completely freaking the fuck out about. Because they were so vague. And I was like, okay, whoa, 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 Is that going to be affected to resources or just proc? Because the resources is a proc. It is. So it doesn't look like it's going to affect it, which that's why I was shitting myself. I'm like, this is going to be a huge issue if this is the case. If it is. This is going to be nasty. Um, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. Where is... Or are I swear to God, there's nothing in here. Troll King, blah blah blah. There's nothing in here. Where's my other monster set? This is. It's like it disappeared. I didn't delete it. What the? I swear to God. One second. This gets annoying. But that's a good thing. At least this won't be a problematic issue as much. I was worried because I'm like, what the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa! What's this? What's this going to be worried about? And I was like, I, you know, I'm going to live stream this. This is a problem. This is a major, major problem. Because I'm like, what? Besides a heal, a heal proc. We'll play with it too on the, on the set in the symphony. I'll get the symphony out because I don't know what the fuck happened to my shit. All right. Okay. Let's grab this. Let's grab. Earth Gore. I'm not going to worry about. Well, might be that I do have to put it on. So, whatever. Now, yeah, I know I, I didn't enchant the head to on the other one all right so I just want to see if this is 
scale, how the scale factor is going to be affected. Because this goes live, man, in a few days. And I hate when it gets toxic. So, I, I, I like Argoonian healers because of the passive. I really do. And I like it when they can transmute their jewelry to benefit from that passive, for the potion passive. That's really amazing. So, for me, to, if this was to go down off of any form of... I don't know what happened to my box. But anyways, let's um let's get a magic on that too. Okay. So, Sentinel doesn't look like it's going to get affected, but let's No. It's not going to affect Sentinel. 47,000 on Earth Lord. Right? On a proc. Sets that are actually dueling healing. 46. So let's go ahead and let's say we're going to take the Thief. That should bring this down. And it does. So... Utility sets doesn't look like it's going to be affected. Proc healing sets are. And I don't think, so long as utility sets, that was my major concern in an overall scenario. I'm like, if this, this fucks up a utility set, we're screwed. That's going to get toxic. I don't see sets like Earth Gore or healing sets, period, becoming factored a lot. There are some scenarios, some scenarios, where it's beneficial, but I mean, honestly, 42 to 46, a 4,000 difference, who gives a fuck, in my opinion? But, like, if you were to use something, like, more consistent, like a Bogodan proc or something, that'll be problematic. PvP, I think it's it's going to be more affected because of that scale factor. Because, no way, how, how you cut it, the, the races with the Max Magicka prevail. They prevail. They, they they've got the they've got the extra factor that to me is problematic i've said the scaling in this game can be somewhat of a problem i can make up damage i can't make up scaling i can scale stamina in certain classes more effectively than others in certain races more than others and based on those parameters i can switch out sets healers we know that certain sets are requirements because of their function, their utility. 
So I can't necessarily make up the same values, right? I can switch sets out accordingly based on the other healer, right? But if I'm going to use any proc, any proc that's going to scale, look at that, 36. Now, um, if I'm going to use any proc that's going to scale Max Magicka, For a healer, this can get somewhat problematic. This can get a little problematic. Now, majority of your other sets aren't going to be affected, you know, as far as buff utility. Um, static sets like Worm, that's not going to be affected, you know? It's, um, um, wait a minute, do I have... Oh, that got the Warlock on. Duh. I swear to God, I'm, I need more coffee. Uh, dungeon sets. Oh, wait. Worm. Ugh. Ugh. Swear to God. Having one of those days, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay so sets like worm is static whoa wait a minute wait a minute that's not what I think it is oh please tell me I'm not please tell me it's 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 not no, it's not. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't see something, did I? Okay. So, no. So, worm set, all rooms buff, nothing changes. Nothing. I'm glad they didn't put it on utility. If they would have put this on a utility set, we would have been flipping the fuck out. There would have been major problems for any utility proc effect. Could you imagine if this would have scaled? If that would have scaled... We would have had major problems, like Mac, like massive problems. So here becomes my new question: If they didn't touch this set, why, like these sets like these to scale to max, like they wanted to, why didn't they do that with other sets? Why, why, why the d differential between Magicka and Stamina in such a way? Why? Because we know Earth Gore is affected. Sets that actually do healing are affected. We know this now. And for race, eh, for healers, whatever. But why didn't they do this across the board? That now becomes even more of a question. It's like, okay, hey, we're not going to touch the healer re res resources, right? They're going to still need re recovery and resources. Right, absolutely. Right? Right? So, I understand the scaling from this, this factor, but given the fact that they, they left this sets like these alone, not to scale, right? Because it would have gotten toxic, and, it, and to a degree it still is, because of Stam to weapon damage and Magicka to spell damage uh, ratio of, you know, 10 to 1. This, to me just screams like we could have we could have adjusted magicka to meet stamina's like you know what i'm saying like lowered the requirement of spell in proportion they could have but they didn't and the question now becomes why this now becomes a question for me and for pvp i think when you take a look at sets like Earth Gore, any set you're going to run into a PvP healer, right? That's that scale factor is going to matter. PVE, no. So that's a good thing. I'm thumbs up on that. I'm actually sighing a breath of relief here. But I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's go back because they didn't specify in the patch notes. I, I suggest that everybody still go look at it. 
they said, you know, to scale to at, to current live, you need. And I was like, okay, well, what's that do to my Sentinel? What does that do to my Symphony? What does that do, you know what I'm saying, to those sets? Because not every trial set for healers are, are statted the same, except Aegis, you know? And that's what we give up. Unless, like I said, unless you're running a perfected version, you're giving up a stat because of minor Aegis. But let's say, hypothetically, I was going to do something crazy and I was going to run Alfeek, right? I was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm going to be a PvP healer. Shit. You know, I might as well just grab a feet, you know, Alfeek, right? Screw it. Let's get toxic, right? That's the way I say it. You know, fuck it. Let's do it. Um. God flipping ding it. Where's my Overland sets? Hold on. I hate... Where did half my shit go? Got lost in transition. Um... Doesn't matter. I just need light overland. Put it in the friggin' bank and grab it. The Alfie's gonna give us what? All Max Magica. All of it. Now you take sets like Earthgore, right? Or even, let's say, even more like Chokethorn, right? Something a little bit faster, right? Overland sets, light. Um, hold on, monster sets. Get choke thorn out. Just I'm just kind of like whatever. Okay. Hello there. Uh. Son of a... I got what I need out of that. Back up. All right. I know I just did not destroy that friggin' All right, Sophie, crafty. All right, 
Switching back. Certain sets and certain applications scaling higher than what it would live is it's like I, that's like i said this some of these things I, I i literally have to keep wondering what the fuck was everybody smoking i'm glad i was worried about the sentinel and symphony those were two monster sets i was panicked about i'm like oh hell no that's going to screw up a lot of builds for me if those scale and it basically the race would be even more problematic but it's still problematic in pvp to an extent because of what the extra thousand five percent to the inner light that's that extra thousand to the five percent that can be can you know okay anyways i don't think i grabbed the chest and stuff anyway i'm just utilizing this so let's just take this off for a second I'm just taking this off. I didn't grab it all. Okay, let's take a look at Chokethorn currently. Okay. Now, would you use this in trial? Absolutely no. But, you know, it still, right now it's at 25, right? So when all of a sudden we go in and we take a Max Magicka set like Crafty Alfeek. And we start applying all of these bonuses, especially to Max Magicka. I can't believe I forgot the chest. Right? All of a sudden, we see it dramatically jump up. 30,000 over six seconds. Right? And that's currently with the apprentice now imagine grabbing the mage even if you're not going to go all divine which you want it in pvp or even maybe you could now you're at 32,000 you're dealing 2,000 more based on that skill factor That scales this up way higher than live. And the and these and for PvP, this is a concern. Make no doubt about it. Especially when they're not gonna run trial sets. Then they're not. You know, they can go with crafty alfeek and something like spinners and get penetration and more max magicka or run um the uh set from um from dragon star whenever you have a lightning staff you know get 2000 extra what i was going to use this is what i'm trying to say man you know well initially i was going to say it's just like the utilities but the healing scale there's certain things that are easier to scale there's just things that are easier to scale and race a uh, race passives is one of the f the factors race passives to scaling is pro even more problematic and becomes more toxic right that life mender has always been a perk for healers for argonian healers always it has always been one of the biggest perks to healing for an argonian that's why a lot of healers like Argonians, man. But now we're taking proc and we're scaling it off of what? Our max pool. One of the biggest things also Argonians do is what? They enchant their jewelry for faster recovery. So they don't sometimes always go arcane. They do in, they do the they uh, do infuse in the potion uh, enchantment to what? replenish their resources at a faster rate that's always been a nice little perk to argonian healers as well as well as argonian tanks um or anybody using friggin uh, clever alchemist any race using clever alchemist but the biggest thing about this is for argonian resource management it was a perk but now because of the, the, the only a thousand in comparison to like a Dunmer or a high elf, 
this could be you know a factor when we take a look at percentage modifying like inner light which is five percent to the total amount now imagine this also on sorc healers because sorc healers right can use in pvp agus which is an eight percent boost now sorc healers are already insanely powerful healers i don't i don't you know, I'm um, tutoring a uh, sword healer right now, uh, mentoring, not tutoring. She's actually insanely awesome. She doesn't need tutoring, uh, mentoring a sword healer. And uh, they're, they, they have an insane amount of healing already due to like, you know, stat adjusting. As long as you stat adjust, right, a sword, you're good to go. You know, but the thing about it is now you take something like Aegis right on pvp you slot eight percent you get another three percent now if it's a high elf on top of it due to its max pool that's even more uh of a boost to any proc like chokethorn in pvp people are like oh look it's chokethorn yeah typically we would all be laughing it up i agree but um, where are we going to be laughing it up now? Here's a Brenton, right? Now, I, I have Brentons. I have three Brentons. I've always liked Brentons for resource management. So what I always do is I offset the jewelry based on the Brenton. Then I can adjust the foods accordingly based on that, you know, pass it a little bit. A little bit, not much. But even when we take a look at his passives... Right? We get a max magic of 2,000. And then we get a reduction cost. That's This is why I always pick Brenton for a lot of healers. I really do like this for healing. Brenton for healing is a really good race. It's really, really good for resource management. Um, but yeah, 2,000. Argonian, 1,000. No matter how you cut it, what you go across the board argonian argonians extra healing boost so long as they're in utility is fine but if once once they once you put argonian in a scenario where max scaling becomes factored not to say that's always going to be the application but once it's become factored argonian takes a slight hit why because of that 1000 it's just it's I've said the scaling system in this game has been the most detrimental element, not the, the most positive thing. It becomes toxic. It becomes so factored. There's That's why I typically like games that don't have racial passives. Racial is just an, what you want to be. It doesn't really affect stats, right? That's I've always hated racial passives in games. Class passives, I'm fine with. Um... Um, I'm fine with um, set st uh, set bonuses. Been fine with racial passives. I've always cringed. Yes, I can make up values here and I can do that and I can put them in different sets. But when we have classes that are going to be using universal base sets and then we have a scale factor to that, that's where it starts getting ugly. That's where the toxicity starts pouring in. Blech. Blech. and it's just like why are we doing this why i'm just getting on my dumber show you guys the the, the passive um but it, it has been a problematic remember when high elves were only like deemed for sorcerers like you wouldn't put a night blade high elf a mage blade high elf at one time you would never do that and zoss has gotten somewhat better about that but now, because of these adjustments, they're going to still have to make other application changes. And I think Argonian is definitely the next one to get, to get hit on the list. And it's like, okay, so you, you're basically going to wa keep watering down the racial passives that you initially instilled because you keep changing the scaling system. And eventually, all the races are going to be on par anyway. Am I, if I, do I got that right? I mean, that's just my perspective. Now, this is slightly under uh, the high elf, slightly. 
Um, but it, it is what it is. Um, I, you know, but you know, the thing about it is still more than the Argonian. I'm like, oh my God. Crazy, man. I'm telling y'all. And yes, they've gotten better. They've gotten better a lot, a lot of things, especially when it comes to Stan Mag, you know, making sure maybe you can play a Stan Dunmer. It's not completely out of, out of, you know, the concept because why? We get weapon and spell and we get mags, uh, magicka and stamina. Flame resistance. The Dunmer now is a way more universal class or race than it's ever been, right? Especially in dual wield, you can you can run a Stam Dunmer the hell and back, and I like that. I do, I do. But when it comes to classes like Argonian and where it functions, and now the scaling system, we've got major problems, man. I'm just saying. I'm glad it wasn't on the Sentinel, but God, seriously, this is something I. I I never got with with games like you know you you want every you want to you want a race to be able to play both sides of the fence right stam or mag okay that's cool that's cool that's a that's a great concept or a tank or whatever if you're if if you're going to do that then why have these these passives anyways that becomes my question. If you didn't, if you didn't, if you wanted every race to be able to play, not just every class, because every class can play every role, but if you want every race to be able to play every role, if you want to, I'm, I'm for it. I'm not against it. But if you want to, why are we still looking down the barrel of, of a scaling system that's going to get toxic? That becomes my question. This becomes my my issue. This becomes the 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 issue to say, okay, this race is superior as this class in this role. This race is superior in that class and that role. Where does it stem from? It stems from here in that scaling factor. That's where it stems from. You know, this would be a whole different thing if we were just taking a look at class passives, right? That'd be a whole different ball game, right? But when we even take a look at, once again, the, the, the issue that's been plaguing the forums and it's it's still been problematic is the light armor to the medium armor and why that scaling factor has been problematic because of, you know, passives like concentration versus passives like agility. And why stamina is going to have an easier time being able to proc up versus its counterpart. We have PVPers that have been long time mag PVPers who are now throwing in the towel. And I don't like that. And for one of the two things that ha to have to happen is for Zenimax to lower the value on Magtoons to make it more feasible or give Magicka the adjusted value in, in accordance on the concentration. Get rid of the concentration and give it to the, to the, the, the spell damage. And then what? Then everybody would have to address what penetrating value in accordance or you do the same thing with the medium armor because knowing that the fighters guild still boosts them up regardless this was the whole thing like the the fighters guild has weapon damage right but the mages guild right what's it do max magica so once again why is Magicka, why are casters being put in the same pool of scale? Why? It makes no fucking sense. It makes no fucking sense when the two factors that are the most prominent being inner light and this passive 
and then the light armor to the concentration makes no sense when slayer in medium armor passive is per this is percentage modifier why i'm asking i keep asking it makes no sense makes no sense oh my gosh and thank god but like like i said what race is going to get an adjustment next time i think argonian that's why i wanted to do this stream i was like argonian's the next to get adjusted it's coming it's coming it's coming you know they'll they'll address that race before they address a class fix. Trust you and me. Because people will bitch and whine. And by the time it's said and done, if they don't do something for Mag, Mag takes the biggest hit. This chapter, hands down, I've said it before. This is stamina. This is Stam DPS's reign. This is Stam PVP. P they were dominant. They were very. It, I wouldn't say necessarily dominant. Every player plays a certain... you got to put it in, you know, player's hands. But for scale factor, Stam has an advantage. For scale factor. Skill factor is a whole different thing. But when we take a look at what what we're going to be looking at, in D, even in DPS, it's factored. It is. It's adjusted accordingly. And I think Zoss needs to make necessary adjustments so M Magicka isn't penalized across the board. That's not right, in my opinion. I'm just going to say it. Anyways, man, I'm going to let you guys go. As always, I'm Mystic Raven. This is Mystic's MMOs. Thanks, Dave, for stopping in. Have a good day.